Welcome to KD Custom Woodworking. I'm Kevin Dumpy. We're here today, and I'm really stoked. I kind of dragged it a bit. I was a little reluctant on this tool review. Uh, I've had this tool for a little while. I haven't really used it to now. So like all tool reviews, I won't review tool unless I'm using it in the shop. Now I gotta cut what I got that the tracks off for, and the tool review is the DC520. Uh, this model, it comes with a case. I didn't bring it here, actually. I used the case for my polisher. It worked better for that. And I got a bigger case, and it goes with the skill saw. So I have this and the, the cordless skill saw, not this one. And, you know, so uh, I didn't bother bringing it. I have it kind of under lock and key. It's a long story. Now, I cut yesterday right along here. Um, as I'm going with the first cut, like I'm, you know, a little new, and then I realize, whoops, trying to get around, and that I forgot to turn on the vacuum. I was so focused. Um, I think, it, like, there's a US, USB or Bluetooth connection for the vacuum, a little adapter. I'm thinking of getting that because that's something you're going to forget because it's nice if you have the vacuum to, you know, not breathe in all that dust. Oh man, this this thing is so smooth. I, I'm just like one hand. I'm just going nice and easy. I don't want like I'm not going to force this thing through. But don't go too slow because you can burn. Uh, remember that. And man, it had more than enough power. It cuts through that like butter. I was impressed. And to say we were impressed would be an understatement. I mean, this is what I cut off. I had to cut off a quarter inch. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go take a little walk right here. I want, a, I want a healthy quarter inch right across. So this is kind of like my spacer here. It's pretty even all the way down. So now I gotta do the other door and I'm doing it on the hinge side. I go like that. But I gotta take less than this. This was, you know, blade width about a quarter inch. So I gotta, I gotta go less. And I gotta take a blade width. Now that's really what I bought this saw. See, the other alternative I had was taking it on table saw. And sometimes when you take a door this heavy, you get in there and you're pushing it and you gotta push it right in the middle. And sometimes it's, it's clumsy, and if you make a mistake, if you bind or whatever, when you're at this stage, like I'm getting ready to do the final clear coat, um, it it's, can be one expensive mistake and really set you back. And what I realized too is I, I'm gonna get the hinges later and fit this door before I go any further because you get little chips here, and I, I, I can't cut this on site. It's gotta be fitted in the shop. <coughs> Excuse me. So the track, there's, buy it, make sure, like I did, there's the wall one, make sure it's over eight feet, because you gotta get these in. And most of your stock good is, is gonna be in the eight foot range. And you don't want it a little, like a little less and you know, like full eight feet and then trying to get this in, and then get this on the track and start it. So that's what, that's what I did. So this goes in the track right here underneath. It's pretty easy. And I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm not gonna tighten on this. So I'm gonna come down. And I'll show you right here. It has a, a depth stop right here. You know, if I wanna go one inch, two inch. This one I'm just gonna let all the way go. I'm just gonna tighten it there. I don't want this really in my way. Uh, degree, how easy. Kind of holding it here. There's a bit of a lock. It's a little, I don't know, a little, I'm not gonna get into that. I didn't buy this for the degree just yet, but, but right now it's locked in there pretty good. It has the stop here. So I got it right here, but there's also a lock right here. Push it down.
and then right now I, I can't I can't do anything so you know having kids there so push up like that and it clicks so that's pretty decent this one what's exciting about this and I think why it cuts so well I use the flex volt. I had I end up I end up getting through tools and promotions five of these batteries. I'm loving them. The, the generation before that was big was the eight amp, and I'm gonna say it, they were a piece of crap. They they didn't really last much longer than the five amps. I found anyways. I had a couple of them, but these nine amps they're a little more weight. But man, am I loving these batteries? I've done a few cuts and a few other things, and it hasn't even moved the bar. You know, I've, I've had, you know, sometimes you even forget to charge them. And there is the model. I bought the model without the battery. They wanted, they wanted more money than buying two batteries. Two batteries of this was $380. And then they wanted like an extra. It's right here. All right. Now I'm going to let this loose. Now I'm locked here and I feel like an idiot right now. Here's where the 45 is. Right like that, okay, that's good. And for whatever, one sec. I'm on. And I'm right here, so I'm in the track nicely. You can't go backwards. But I'm going to try something. See, it won't go down. I found out <laughs> the hard way. And I'm, maybe I'm fumbling here on purpose. Or maybe I'm, I'm like all thumbs with the uh, uh, new tool. That's it. Um, I have it. Really, it's really smooth. So I'm going to take it back here. And right there is about a blade width. All right. And I know I got my hand there. I don't have my hand on the finger. And yes, it could. So I'm going to let it go. So I'm okay right here. Because I'm, I'm just going to eyeball it right there. I'm going to take a little less. I just. So I got this tighten. All right. Now I'm going to bring this over. I know this moved here. And I'm just going to. Eyeball it. That's all I'm going to do. Now I'm, I'm locked. Make sure this thing is locked in. The last thing I want is this thing moved while I was cutting would be a disaster. Now I'm going to get my vacuum. And I'm in. All right. So I like to turn this this way and get this in so it stays out of the way. It's rubber. It's in there. It's in there about as far as it's going to go. I'll turn a little more this way. Okay, that, that's pretty decent. I'm going to turn this here. Maybe I need a longer hose. And look, get, get earphones. And, you know, if, if you're not using it, use them. See, the other way, if I was to take it, and I was used to skill saw, <laughs> you got to come like this and hold the guard up, then kind of maneuver it. So you're, 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 you're like this. And it kind of wants two hands to guide it. And if you ever cut a door with this, it's, it's for the birds. And you could say, well, why don't you just take the hand plane? Hand plane is good, but if you got a little valley or something, sometimes you could take more across and you can't get that nice straight, like lay, this is what I'm after, a straight laser cut. Now I'm gonna go here. All right. So I'm gonna put my headphones on. That's the other thing I wish, I know it's a safety lock. I don't know if, you, if anybody has this. And if you can disable it, there we go. 
the button here disables it so you can go and push down without using the button. I like this so I can see. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable. That's, that's a blade width. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna, it is a little finicky, so get used to that. Feels a little weird. Like, you know, this, I'm doing this first time, so it's my first time. I always had wanted one of these, but I didn't want one because I had, you know, a big shop, table saw, everything else. But now I'm going on the road and I got that thing to cut down at the other end to fit. And I know it's going to be a little off, so I got some V cuts. So I wanted something and I did not want to take that, take the uh, skill saw and start, start hacking away on site. So I was stoked about this. And the other thing is sometimes we do a lot of plywood there and then if you're at the on the job site, you have to put a sheet down, uh, set your gauge. You, you have this, this thing is measured to there, like, and I'm spot on, you know? That's, that's my guide right there. You know, eventually I'm gonna wear that out, but that's it. So 29 and seven eighths. And that's how much I want the door. Right now the door is exactly at 30. Let's see how we make out. What's really um, impressive with this saw, what I'm doing now, taking that um, one eighth of an inch off, which is basically a blade width, and man, it stays true on that track, doesn't drift. Try it with skill saw, it would burn, you wouldn't be able to do it. And then with the planer, you can screw up and you can make a mess with the door. And in this case, I'm going all the way to the bottom of the door and I want like a 30 second because the cabinet, there's a slight V in the cabinet. I'm not sure it's a V in the cabinet or the door. And man, does it work amazing. I, I'm like even reaching over like that. I have total control. I never once felt it was going to drift anywhere. Oh, look at that cut, eh? Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Oh, look at that, seven eighths. Seven eighths. And seven eighths, all right. It spewed a lot because with the vacuum, because it was out here, so this side didn't work as well, but when it did a full cut with the vacuum, there was no kick, kick out on it, so that's it. But even reaching over here, it was, it was, it was great. Normally, I'd be in front, but I didn't want to put my back to the camera. I just want you guys to see the, uh, the, the tool in action. I'm gonna hit the bars. I'm just curious what, how much of a, a pig this thing is on batteries. Yeah, I got one bar, but I was using it for something else, that battery. Um, <laughs> these flux volts, if you have a fast charge, if you only have two, you could run this all day and just switch back and forth and you'd be fine. I'm, I'm on the Quest, no cords. Uh, the DC motors, um, I'm, I'm finding, like, in the, compared to the alternating direct, I know alternating DC gets confusing, eh? Alternating, you know, uh, direct current is actually battery. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But the motors are better. I find it better. I find it better with the little rotor. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Like, I mean, two, almost two, not two, quite two inches, but an inch and three quarter of uh, solemn, you know, it's mahogany, it's not birch. But I'm sure you can cut anything else with it. So my rating, all right. Man, they outdid themselves. The track, I know I did my research before I bought it, is the best in the business. It locks in here, it has a little weight, it's not gonna come out. It has a little, like, like very, a little play there, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I tried to push it tight. Be careful with this, I, I did it, I cranked it too high, the Allen key, got a little bump there, so be gentle. 
Um, I think with me, I was about seven, eight hundred all in. Um, it's an expensive, expensive. If you're doing one-time cabinets, and you and you're doing multiple, this thing will pay for itself. Um, it'll buy you time. But if you're going to buy it before the table saw, and you only have the money for for one table saw first, because you're not going to do woodwork like this. You're going to be stuck. You're like I'm not going to be sitting there trying to cut strips or other things with that all day. No way. You know, it's nowhere near the speed of a table saw. So take that. You know, it's not going to replace table saw. But if it's your, if if you have that older table saw, you want to get into cutting. This almost works as great as a CNC, like you're doing it by hand. I mean, because you ever take a sheet and push it through a saw? It's hard to do that all day. I, I would use this. I, I I think you'd be just as fast as a table saw, because you're not moving. Um, you're not moving the sheet. You're just getting it here and slicing and dicing it. So. It, 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 you know, the ways, the balance, uh, wife factor or partner factor, whatever the case may be, <laughs> show them this video and <laughs> they'll see how safe it is. Your hands are so far away. I mean, if you, if you cut yourself open on this, you, you shouldn't be doing woodworking, but I don't offer any safety. So this thing gets a 10. I did it. But my new rating is going to bump up to 11. I don't believe every, I think there's always room for improvement. But coming, I'm doing this with context. Coming from the other saws, I know this thing beats it. I know it'll beat all the other ones because the track just so much nicer. And the track is with it. There's a 16th of an inch difference from the metal here. So if you ever had to measure, you just add a 16th. That's all there is. But for me, coming from a skill saw, trying to get these doors fitted, this is amazing, uh, amazing. I mean, uh, it was just such a joy. It goes down nice. Everything's great about it. So yeah, go for it. And please subscribe. We're really starting to get over a thousand. We got a lot of videos there. I mean, all this leads to building a house. I have about 80, 93 videos, but if you read, look at them all, they all go like this. Through your base, you need this, 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 this. That, you know, you could do your own rentals, save money, it's your empowerment. It's the only way you're gonna get ahead in this world with uh, housing because it's, it's a friggin' jungle out there. People are trying to steal and manipulate. Um, you know, do it yourself. You'll have the sense of pride and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, this is what I have to cut on site. I got to take a little off at the bottom, a little on top, and a little around the fan. And that's the unit. That was just the first couple of coats high gloss. We show how to make it. And please, please, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.